welcome to Brighter Guide. I'm Michelle and we're going to talk about how to use 7-Zip. Seven 7-Zip is the best archiving tool that you can find on the internet. If you need your files to be organized and placed in a single compressed file, 7-Zip can do that for you. In all our everyday computing needs, documents and media files that pile up and clutter through time. It creates unwanted chaos, especially when you need a document from some years ago that you created and saved on your Windows computer or your MacBook. Sure, you can use your operating system's native search function, but that is only good for a single or a few files. What will help you organize those files is the 7-Zip archiving tool. You can use 7-Zip to create a cabinet of similar files that will help you organize everything. The best thing about file compression is that you lessen the size of the file or the files that you archived. The 7-Zip archiving tool can also be set to group files in one specific archive and protect them by encryption or password. This is very much useful and helpful when you're sending sensitive data through a network. It will help you maintain your privacy. the supported archiving formats. 7-Zip supports many file compression formats. Its native archive format is 7-Z, which is represented by the .7-Z file extension. While 7-Zip alone can create various archiving formats such as ZIP, RAR, 7-Z, BZIP2, TAR, and WIM, it can unpack a lot more different file compression formats. Here are some brief highlights of what it can do. It can compress your files. It can compress pretty much all sorts of files for you. It has a file manager, which is a built-in manager, so you can navigate through all of your directories. It supports multiple core CPU threading. The 7-Zip software can utilize multi-core on any CPU, both mobile desktop version, to provide faster and more efficient file processing and archiving. It's versatile. 7-Zip's native file extension is reportedly much better than the traditional zip file extension when it comes to keeping the integrity of the archive files intact. Navigating through the 7-Zip's UI. Inside the window, you'll see the main toolbar containing the most useful features and other menus that let you dig deeper and be accustomed to its UI. First of all, we have the Extract button, a button that allows you to accept or browse for the default destination path for your files easily. And then the View button. This menu contains the folder history, as well as the Favorites menu, which allow you to save up to as much as 10 folders. talk about how to compress a file in 7-Zip. Open the 7-Zip file manager, click on the file that you wish to compress and click on the add button. This will identify the file that you need to compress. Add to the archive window is going to pop up. Ensure that your archive format is set to zip and then hit the OK button. 7-Zip will then process the file and compress it in the zip file that is located in the same destination where your original file is. And that's it. Moving on on how to extract a file. Select the file that you want to extract and right click on it. Hover over the 7-zip option and choose extract here. This will bring up a new window that will show you the progress and the remaining time if your file is big enough. Then just wait for it to finish. it safe. 7-Zip is the safest and most useful tool compared to the other popular archiving tools out there. In fact, the 7-Zip software is used by some IT professionals and tech individuals as a manual tool for extracting, identifying, and deleting some types of malware and computer viruses. 
The only reason that we see 7-Zip being a not so safe software is if you downloaded it from an unofficial source. We all know that anyone can rename a file or any software and brand it as 7-Zip. So to be able to make sure that you're using the safe and original version of 7-Zip, kindly get your installer from the link in the description below.